Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we continue north on US Highway 11 in Virginia beginning at mile 107 as we cross the New River and enter the independent city of Radford, which had a population of 16,070 as of the 2020 census. The status of independent city means that the city is not part of any county. The independent city is common in Virginia but not unique to the state. Here, US 11 makes a left turn at the northern terminus of Virginia State Route 232. Radford, a town named after Dr. John B. Radford, began as a small settlement near the New River, drawing travelers for water and food on their journey west. Its population surged in 1854 with the arrival of the Virginia and Tennessee Railroad, setting up a significant depot in Lovely Mount due to its strategic location in the state. This brought increased trade and business to the area. Initially incorporated as Lovely Mount in 1887, the town later changed its name to Radford in 1891. Between 1900 and 1930, various companies, including those dealing with ice, creamery, milling, piping, and preserving, established themselves in Radford. In 1913, Radford became home to Radford State Normal School, later renamed Radford College in 1924, and then Radford University in 1979, driving further growth. In 1940 to 1941, the U.S. military constructed the Radford Army Ammunition Plant, leading to a considerable population increase as families moved in. Specific neighborhoods like Monroe Terrace, Radford Village, and Sunset Village were built to accommodate the arsenal workers and still exist as the town's primary residential areas. Today, Radford boasts five parks, the historic Glencoe Museum from the antebellum era, a local farmer's market, and a single movie theater.
We leave the Radford city limits and enter the unincorporated census-designated place of Plum Creek, named for a nearby creek called Plum Creek. We're also in Montgomery County now, home of Virginia Tech, Virginia's third largest public university and the county's largest employer. The county had a population of 99,721 as of the 2020 census. We conclude today's video at mile 115 as we approach the city limits of Christiansburg. Thanks for watching. We've enabled channel memberships, so for as little as $1 a month, you too can help support our channel and get early access to our regular videos as well as the occasional members only video. Click the link in the description to join. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.